So I'm Ryan Baker. I'm here at the Robotic Musicianship Lab at Georgia Tech. And this is GuitarBot, or formerly known as the Expressive Robotic Guitarist. Um, it's been an ongoing project that I've been uh, tagging on to for my master's here. I'm doing my master's in music technology. So this is one of the cool things I get to do. So that piece was not my composition, but a colleague of mine, Marcus, I hope you didn't mind that, that we're sharing it here, but that focuses on some of the unique sonorities of, of guitar bot, such as polyrhythmic rhythms between different strings. It would be a little hard to, to do that finger style myself at least, as well as these motors moving in different directions, reaching notes that a human hand wouldn't ordinarily without tapping or, or doing some augmented techniques. And this is a plot of the calculated motor positions over time for that piece. There's been a lot of people working on making this musical. I'm more focused on making it more robust and testing it as a platform. It has one fret per string, which isn't exactly how humans play. So GuitarBot has its own pedagogy of sorts. It can't really do hammer-ons in the traditional way. We kind of have to work around some of those traditional techniques for guitar. Okay. And then it's got the pluckers over here. Yes. Okay. So that's its tremolo mode, and okay. we can get it to play pretty fast. Eventually we'll have six pluckers here instead of the three. And then if we were to play all strings like as fast as possible, it'd probably create this really interesting sonority yeah. where it's playing notes faster than like 20 hertz, maybe up to like 30 hertz. And that might produce its own like tone of like the yeah. motor is hitting the strings. My colleague Marcus is working on some work to like create music with these interesting robotic techniques. And I'm more so focused on let's measure it and actually teach it how to play a new technique. So. What I'm going to do next semester is use reinforcement learning to try to, to get it to learn how to play harmonic notes okay. um, by trying different fret positions, plucking at different forces, and then trying to get like that sweet spot. So you're using PyCharm? Yeah, so there's an OpenCR board here that's kind of the brains of the operation in the back, and that controls a lot of the other motor controller boards. And that's all coded in Arduino. There's also Python that handles the trajectory generation and it'll plop trajectories. And that way we have a little bit more control over what exactly we're doing with the motor specifically. We can get a little smart and control it over OSC. 